Greetings, kiddies. That was for Mume, if you like that. Um, I've just come back from my operation, my last one, and it went pretty good. Uh, they froze it with liquid nitrogen and they said it would take about a week or two to take an effect. I'm not going to go into it because it's all scientific bullshit. Anyway. Yeah, somewhat different today. A strawberry milkshake. Uh, one thing, I'm not going to post bulletins on YouTube. No one fucking answers. Um, within a week I posted at least five bulletins saying I'm going in hospital, you know, something's gone wrong, blah blah blah, or whatever, and no one answered. <laughs> I know. I came back and I bought my Kang magazine, and I saw something in the shop, on a paper, the headlines, totally, totally pissed me off. As with everything else does. But I want to show you this first. Look what my sweetheart bought me. It's a blue t shirt, you know, with the USA on the front. Looks like a bit of my tattoo, actually. Looks like my tattoo, what I got in my cock. <coughs> anyway, I'll take it off because it's hot. So. Right, here we go. Right, I saw something in the paper today that totally ticked me off. You know, you know, I'm always saying, you know, the governments, they haven't got any money. That's true, that is. They survive off our tax. They never had any money. Never will, never, never did, never will. They only survive off our money. They don't even pay for their fucking dinner or the shoes on the back. We do. Anyway, I picked up a paper today, um, and this is the headline: "Arrested for tackling the yobs." So I goes, "Oh God, no, not again!" I suppose it'd be one of those, you know, yobs get off free, and it was. Listen to this: a form. A former soldier who made a citizen's arrest on a job terrorising his home was then arrested himself on suspicion of kidnapping. Frank C McCourt endured, endured a three month legal ordeal while the job and his gang went unpunished. I just walked away. Last night, outraged campaigners attacked the British legal system for persecuting the innocent while yobs are allowed to run rampant. Mr McCord, 57, took action after a pack of youths hurled stones. This is what happens to us. Same thing happens to us. The police don't fucking do anything. They're at the government. Or only there to annoy you and to lay laws down that makes no fucking sense only to benefit them. Anyway, Mrs McCourt, 57, took action after a pack of youths hurled stones, sticks, mud and eggs at his house, while his wife Mary covered, cowered, covered and cowered inside. He called the police hotline but was kept on hold for 45 minutes. He went out to look for the police officer on the beat, but found none. They're supposed to be on all the beat all the time. They're supposed to be walking around all the time, but they're not. And they're arguing over pay. And they're not even there when you fucking want them. They're there when you don't, when nothing's going on, but... Right. <clears throat> so he grabbed one of the yobs and asked his net for his name only didn't hit him or anything asked for his name telling him he was making a citizen's arrest within minutes the police turned up 
and arrested Mr. McCourt, Mr. McCourt, who served who served for twelve years in Northern Ireland and Somalia. No official action is believed to be have been taken against the Yobs. See. Yobs got away with it. No action has been taken. Um, Mr. McCourt said these children have got away scot free. They are criminals of the future and they've been given the green light to carry on. While I've been put through three months of hell, this country is going to the dogs. Well, it has gone to the dogs, not going. I have to disagree there. It's gone to the dogs. Um, and its ju justice system is a joke. I agree. Former Home Security Anne Whittacombe said last night, not Anne Whittacombe, not off the TV, um, tells you everything that is wrong in Britain today. It tells you everything that is wrong with Britain today. Police operate according to political correctness. <laughs> political correctness. Oh. Well, it continues on page 7, but you get the gist of it. It's political correctness is to do with speech and correcting people. You ain't supposed to throw stones at someone's house. If you do, that's a criminal offence, as you know. I mean, this happened to me tons of times, you know. Been shot through the window, shot through the chest, through my window. I've been the brick hurled at my head through the downstairs window, you know. All the windows technically smashed. Police come out and they say the whole. Everyone, everyone had their either house or windows or door or whatever smashed in by this shed across the road called Mark Sturgis. He's a psychopath. He's in and out of prison all the time and he's got a mental illness and the cops won't do anything. Anyway. Everyone says it's him. Even I say it's him. I witnessed it. Others witnessed it. But the police for 10 fucking years. Yes, 10 years this has been going on. He's been doing it late at night. And the police says the same fucking thing over again. Have you got proof? Have you got proof? Of course we ain't got proof. Just everyone saying it is him. Just go round and arrest him. Because we only got our... As soon as he come out of prison, this happens every time, as soon as he comes out of prison, we get our windows smashed and, you know, terrorising the neighbourhood. It never happens when he put away, when he's put away, but it always happens when he's out. The police are totally thick. They can't figure this out. It makes you wonder what they're doing on the police force, you know. And it costs us millions a year, millions a year for cleanups and everything. And it costs us hundreds, hundreds of pounds a week to keep sheds like that, Mark Sturgis and everyone else, every single person who's a criminal in prison costs hundreds of pounds a day. And People are actually, they want to get caught and <sighs> prisons are soft, they got satellite TV, they got digital, they got pool tables, they got fucking internet, you know, where has they gone when you break in rocks in the backyard or working on a chain gang? And no, it's not only for black, so get off your fucking eye horse. You, not my friends, but other people, get off your eye horse. You know, you know, picking up stuff off the highway. None of that's there anymore. They spend all the time in prison, on the fucking internet, 
watching TV. Ah. <laughs>